It's the pilot, I'm back. I got my cell phone and the sofa cushion, man. Hey, just want to do a real quick review and show you guys the greatness and all the glory that you can create on Nike Bayou with this Sabrina on this school. Sabrina. Mm. Sabrina Onescu 2. Now, uh, maybe I have a picture of a Kobe 5, but one of the reasons why this shoe is so popular is because it looks like a Kobe 5 um, moving forward. All you have to do is easily to make this a Kobe is to just take this S off and put one of those, those little tri star things that Kobe had right here. And to me, it's basically a Kobe, right? I really honestly feel like Sabrina either came to Nike and said, hey, I want my all my shoes to look like Kobe's. And I'm really hoping, because I'm a Caitlin Clark, oh, not Clark, Caitlin Clark fan. And I like Caitlin Clark a lot. She's making me like bass and women's basketball, but that's a whole nother story. But I really hope that Caitlin Clark shoe kind of looks like a Kobe too, since she wears Kobe's a lot. But this Nike ID was amazing. I basically, am horrible at putting together Nike ID sneakers mainly because uh, I'm always off on the colorways and what they look like online they don't look like in person so a lot of times when I Nike ID shoes I make sure to hashtag Nike ID or whatever that shoe is on Instagram to see what it's going to look like right see what it's going to look like first before I purchase and then I kind of I, I see what somebody else done and then I make tweaks. So the person that did this shoe, they had a glow in the dark soul on theirs. I already have a pair of uh, IDs that I've already done. So I saw what it was gonna look like on the bottom. And I was like, well, if I put this sole in there, it's, it's not gonna look as well as the gum bottom, but I probably should have done the glow in the dark sole on these because I thought that the gum bottom, and this is prime example of what I'm talking about, I thought the gum bottom was gonna be a lot lighter than this. I thought it was gonna be more of a, like a cell, close to a cell colorway, a little bit darker of a cell, but it didn't, but it still came out pretty good. I did a metallic gold swoosh right here. I did the uh, punch, the uh, fruit punch colorway in here, which kind of looks orange on camera, but when you get close to it, you kind of see that it's more of a, uh, uh, a neon pink, or fluorescent pink. I did a like a crimson on the inside, a gym red on the inside, gym red on the outsole. I did a gum bottom, yellow laces, but this shoe would look a lot more calm if I took the laces out and put maybe like a white pair of laces or even a pair of laces that match the tongue. And then I forgot what color I did right here, but it's like a teal right here. And the shoe came out amazing. I didn't add my name onto it or ID anything extra on it. And it came out really, really good. You guys tell me what you think. Um, this is going to be, I'm probably gonna put these on right now to go to the gym and do some lifting. Um, today is going to be chest and back day. Push and pull day. Push and pull day for me, a light push and pull circuit day for me. But this is a perfect shoe. Honestly, too, to hoop in. If you want to ask how a shoe fits, um, it's true to size. I got a, uh, a US 15, so I'm on to one of them, because I got to go. I got to get up out of here. I wear a US 13, I think I got a 13 and a half. I got a 15 in women, so I got a 13 and a half, just in case I want to get some shots up and go hoop, or play in the old man league again in these. This is definitely a shoe that I would hoop in, because these are really, really comfortable. Um, it fits it fits and feels like a Kobe. So if you're a hooper and you're trying to figure out if you're going to make a purchase on these, you definitely should do this. You definitely try to knock these out and get these if you want to. This tongue is leather too. This is pretty cool. I thought this was more of a suede or a mesh. This tongue is leather too. So, hey man, uh, if you're into Kobe's, if you're into basketball sneakers, especially low tops, and you're into performance, as I played ball in college, I played ball in high school at a high level. Um, I wasn't a, almost a pro or anything, but I played at a high level for sure. I was on scholarship. This is a really good shoe to play ball in. I, no, I have not played ball in it, but I have got some shots up in it and moved around it. And if you're a hooper, you can tell if a shoe, just from just you just fucking around, 
you can tell that the shoe is going to be a good shoe to play ball in. So, hey, I'm a style pilot. Like, comment, subscribe, and always remember that you are the flyest motherfucker on planet Earth. I see you guys.